Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Blowing 40 outside today, so I'm not fishing. We're going to do an iPad video for you and it's going to be a quick one. It's how to connect your iPad or your iPhone to a network attached storage device or NAS. It's very simple to do if you have your shares configured correctly. And I'll put a link in the description on how to do this uh, on your NAS. It, very simple and then about all of them work the same you know Synology, QNAP, Western Digital, whatever but it, as long as you have your share configured correctly you can do this and then you can share files back and forth between your NAS and your iPhone or iPad I think you can actually do it with an iPod Touch but I don't know why you'd want to but anyway let's drop down to the iPad and I'll show you just how easy it is y'all stay with us so anyway, we're going to open up the Files app. Here we are on the desktop of the iPad. We're going to open up the Files app. And I already have my NAS connected, so I'll disconnect it. There we go. Now we're good. Go back to the desktop. So I'll open up the Files app right here. Here I am on the sidebar and then all the files. There are three dots up here. And hopefully you all can see this. I'm going to click this and you can scan a document with the camera, connect to the server, which would be connect to a hard drive or another computer or a NAS, or you get it at your sidebar. I want to connect to the server. All right, I already have my SMB share set up, and it's right here under my recent servers. You know, this is, this is the uh, SMB address. I'm going to click this. You have to have a username and password set up on all the ones I've seen. I've got that set up, so all I'm going to do is hit next. And boom, here are my files for my NAS, or that are on my NAS. And what you can do, you can copy your files from your iPad or iPhone to this, and then you have them there so you don't have to junk up all your storage on your, on your phone or your, your iPad. So if I click on my, my video files, it's just that fast. I have really fast Wi-Fi and really fast throughput on my drives. So if I wanted to uh, copy a file, let's see this picture right here where my mouse is. If I right click on this or if I long press with my finger, it gives me a context menu. And I can copy, move, delete, quick look, I can do all these things, share or whatever. I can do all that from right here in the Files app. Works pretty good. Uh, if I want to copy um, files to a computer, here I am. I can do it. It's pretty cool stuff. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with an iPad or an iPhone like you would a normal computer. And uh, it's very simple to do. So let's go back. And like I said before, all the I'll, I'll put a bunch of examples in the description. And uh, leave me a comment if um, if you do this or if you have any questions about doing this. I'd like to like to help. All right, just that easy. To hook up your iPad. Um, or iPhone up to your NAS or if you just have a hard drive on another computer you can do the same thing uh, pretty cool stuff and there's just a ton of stuff that you can do with with an iOS device but uh, anyway I'm gonna finish that up if you like the video give me a thumbs up hit that little subscribe button for me it doesn't cost you a dime and uh, hit that little bell to be notified when I put a video out and if you have any comments or questions or if you want to something done on an iPad that uh, you haven't seen anywhere else. I'll try to take it on. I will. But anyway, I hope everybody's having a great day, having a great evening. And uh, until the next video, thanks for watching.